Don't forget to like and share our video. We want to increase our, our, our listening audience and our viewing audience here at Breaking the Huddle. And uh, we're just basking. We just finished the Hutchinson unit. Uh, we had a three pole tent up that we do every year there. And uh, it was just an amazing atmosphere. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of men that willfully come underneath that tent. Not a one of them are made to, they choose to. We had an incredible weekend there. Let me again, deadline, October the 22nd, ladies for the hobby and the Marlin unit. Please, please, please sign up and please, please, please show up. It will be a great weekend. Again, the warden, the chaplain is right on the same page. They love and respect the Mike Barber Ministries. We're so thankful for that. It will be a solid, solid day in the Lord. I promise you, you'll march in November the 10th. Then right behind that is the Cofield unit. We're going to have our tent up from, I think, November the 12th or the 18th. Deadline men into the largest ad seg population in the state of Texas. Over 1,000 men locked up. Please sign up October the 22nd is the deadline. Your day to go in will be November the 17th, even unto the least of them, we visit Jesus. That'll be the Cofield unit, be an awesome time. And then we'll end out the year as far as a big weekend. I'll still be doing some prisons after this myself, but as far as the MBM WOE weekend of excitement, we'll be in the win unit uh, in December. Uh, I think it's six, seven, eight, uh, but your deadline for that is November the 19th, and uh, your day of entry will be December the 8th, going cell to cell. Uh, pray with us. It's a huge weekend. It's the holiday season, the Christmas season. We give real big, nice uh, zip bag packages of candy, spiritual tracks to 100% of the prison population. We want them to feel good at that time of the time of the year. It's a very expensive weekend, so hey, if you can, between now and then, shoot a little bit of this way financially, whatever you can do, no gift's too small, no gift is too big. And we'll thank you in advance. We've got a great fall ahead of us. Come, be with us. It'll crank your tractor. That's the way we say it in East Texas. I'll see you there. You know, we're doing now a series on identity. Last week, our very first week, we talked about image. We talked about that Christ is our badge into heaven. We talked about Genesis 1, that we were made in our image. The Bible says, God says, made in our image. That's the Father, Son, and that's the Holy Spirit. That's who he's talking about. The Trinity, that's the beginning of everything. And so, yes, he knows our name. But yet we have to come to that point in our life where we receive Jesus. He becomes our badge. He becomes our entrance into heaven. We talked about that last week. This week now, we're here to talk about the, the next letter in the word identity. D. And I've used the word here, desire, as I've said. I like to take words, break down each letter, pray about the word, what that letter means, I for image, D for desire, and uh, find scripture to it, create a message or a teaching from it. And so today's lesson is the letter D, desire. Isaiah 26, 8 says this, Lord, we show our trust in you. How? By obeying your laws. Your, your laws. It's one thing to say, I trust you, Lord. But it's totally something else to obey him. You don't really trust unless you make up your mind, I am going to obey your ways, Lord with the best that I can do in my life, to my heart's desire to glorify what? Your name. So my desire is to trust him by accepting his word. 
My desire is to live his word live and in color. To what? Bring him glory. Look at the world today. You know, they, all it is is just a party. Uh, you look at, as I said, I think last week, you, you look at TV shows and it's nothing but laughing and cutting up because it's all about the now. There's nothing about the future, your destiny. You know, just party now. It don't matter what tomorrow brings or down the road. And, but yet you and I, we're to bring him glory in everything to the best of our ability. That is Mike Barber's desire today. And that's what your desire should be, if it's not already, to bring him glory. Romans 7, says, I've been bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body. The only way that we can glorify God is in our body. Well, that's a no brainer because what can come out? Only what's on the inside of us. And so if we want true identity in Christ, we have to understand that we were created in his image. And so what I see like Jesus did, he says, I only do what my father does. What an awesome statement. Our desire, the letter D, our desire in Jesus' name is to live a life that brings him glory. A very popular scripture, one of my favorites is 2 Corinthians 4, uh, uh, 8, 18. It says, while we look, not at the things that are seen, but the things that are not seen. For the things that are seen are only temporal, but the things that are not seen is for eternity. My desire is not for just today. My desire is for eternity. Walk in the streets of gold. Nothing but a party 24-7. That is my desire. That is the heartbeat of the Mike Barber Ministries. To walk into maybe a very dark place. To bring a word that inspires inmates. That it doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter. It's not too much that God doesn't say, I love you, I forgive you, and I forget it as though it never happened. My desire is to live for him. And I pray that that is your desire from this point on, is to bring him glory. And don't forget this, I say it all the time. I was just in a prison here a couple of days ago. I told all the prisoners, your greatest voice is with your feet, not with your mouth. Body language speaks louder than anything you and I can say verbally. It does. I don't care where you are, who you are. Your body language speaks louder than anything you can say verbally. Does your body language, does it speak I desire the things of God. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Hey, guys, thank you for being with us again here from Breaking the Huddle. We love you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a very blessing to me to come to you. I love these moments with you. Uh, hey, call this ministry if we need anything. If you need anything, we're here for you. Keep us in your prayers. Help us financially if you can. Uh, doesn't matter how small how big, come go sell to sell with us as we made announcements earlier and continually to share your likes with your friends and your family. Uh, get them involved with us every Tuesday at 12.30 p.m. Uh, Central Time. Remember our website, www.mikebarber.org. We love you with all of our heart and I promise you I will see you next week.